It terrorized the night, not by strength, but by cunning. It was the smartest dinosaur that ever lived. This spark of intelligence was snuffed out 65 million years ago. But had it continued to bloom, this remarkable creature might have inherited the Earth. mark the site of the Lance Formation in eastern Wyoming, one of the most fertile dinosaur fields on Earth. For over a century, fossil hunters have found treasure here. The colossal bones of duck-billed dinosaurs and the infamous Tyrannosaurus rex. In 1993, Paleontologist Craig Durstler of the University of New Orleans began exploring an area of rugged gullies and deep gulches he would name Dragon's Grave. The site has lived up to its name. The dinosaurs in this formation are, are just very abundant compared to most places. Uh, the dinosaurs, of course, all date from the very latest part of the Cretaceous, and the top of the Lance Formation corresponds to the extinction of dinosaurs. So, of course, if you go above that, there are no dinosaurs left. The sandstone in Dragon's Grave was laid down 67 million years ago, just two million years before the dinosaurs went extinct. Durstler and his team are reconstructing the final moments of this great dynasty. The presence of hadrosaur, or duckbill bones, came as no surprise. But then, the tiny fossils of an extremely rare dinosaur came to light. The discovery captured the attention of paleontologist Dale Russell at North Carolina State University. A specialist in dinosaur intelligence, Russell has tracked an elusive prey for nearly three decades. Dragon's Grave would provide happy hunting grounds. Look at that, there's a vertebrae coming out of the ground there. My gosh. Is that all you get is hadrosaur? Go after our antlers and hadrosaur. Not at all, not at all. It's one of the oh. things I wanted to show you oh, yeah. was uh, some of the other special stuff we've been oh, getting. Hey. It's 99% hadrosaur, but yeah. the other stuff, the 1%, is great. Okay, here's the sorts of things that are in that 1%. Look at that, you see that? Ooh, wow. Boy, that's definitely juvenile. Definitely troodon. Okay. That's all nice. Right. Troodon a fossil hunter's prize. Durstler's collection of tiny troodon juveniles, including fragments of their eggshells, and minute baby teeth is an exceptional find. In 1856, the fossilized teeth of a small dinosaur were discovered in Montana. The species was aptly named troodon, which means wounding teeth. Few related fossils were ever found, and for more than a century, Troodon sparked little interest among dinosaur experts. All that would change when Dale Russell came upon the skull cap of a Troodon in a museum collection. The more he studied the fossil, the more it amazed him. I sat and I turned that skull back and forward in my hands for probably five minutes. And then I started, my heartbeat started going up. And I realized that I was seeing something that nobody would noticed before. Most dinosaurs' brains did not fill their brain cavities. But the Troodon brain was so large, it left impressions on the inside of the skull.
Troodon was every inch the predator, with razor-sharp serrated teeth and large hook-like claws. Unique among the dinosaurs, Troodon had an opposable finger that gave it a firm grasp on its prey. Troodon belonged to a family of dinosaurs called the theropods, all bipedal predators like Tyrannosaurus rex. But with a skull just seven inches long, Troodon would have been dwarfed by its giant cousin. Consider their vital statistics. Troodon, five feet tall, under 100 pounds. Tyrannosaurus rex, nearly 40 feet tall, over six tons. They are so interesting because they are so highly evolved, so uncommon, so difficult to find, and so anatomically interesting. This dinosaur may be small, but its significance is very large. No longer an evolutionary footnote, Troodon may rewrite the book on dinosaur intelligence. What Dale Russell discovered etched in an ancient skull cap would challenge conventional wisdom. It was long assumed that all dinosaurs were slow-witted. The logic was simple. Huge body, tiny brain. Case in point, a three-ton monster like Stegosaurus had a brain that weighed about two ounces. Troodon was about 40 times smaller than Stegosaurus, yet its brain actually weighed more. In fact, when compared to its body size, Troodon's brain was about six times larger than that of most dinosaurs. When the ratio of brain to body size is plotted on a curve, it shows a steady rise that begins with primitive life forms and culminates with human beings. Troodon placed higher on the curve than any other dinosaur. It also outranked the early mammals, our own ancestors. So much for the notion that dinosaur brains had reached an evolutionary dead end. It was the first time that we realized that some dinosaurs had brains that were unusually large for reptiles and that these creatures, the dinosaurs, were not a static group. They were evolving and they were evolving towards higher levels of behavioral complexity.